Hey y'all, what's up? Hope you guys are having a great day. So, I feel like we are just having birth pains upon birth pains upon birth pains. Everything is, is so crazy. Um, from what I understand, they are complete. Oh, before I get into all that, happy Mother's Day. And, um, you know, I'm gonna, for the, for the people that are fur moms, um, happy Mother's Day to you guys too. I know that me personally putting up with my two dogs that happen to be mom and son, it is like dealing with children. Sometimes I think my dogs think they're more human than they are actual animals. But I love them to death and it's just a roller coaster ride. So I am actually getting me a cup that says best dog bomb ever and it's going to have their names engraved on the cup and I'm super excited to get it. But I won't get it until like the 14th or the 16th. So may or may not get it before the rapture. I don't know the day of the time or the hour in which the rapture will happen, but I know it's around the corner and I know that the signs and the birth pains are everywhere. Israel is going to go into Rafa, like fully go into Rafa and you know, everybody keeps saying, what is in Rafa that they do not want? Um, Israel to find. And I am praying that Israel will find whatever it is in Rafa that the world does not want them to know. Um, you've got Ukraine and that, that war with Russia and there's talks of nooks. There's, there's so much going on. It's like, <gasps> just over there. And then um, at home, we're having cluster earthquakes in diverse places. We have more aurora borealises uh, gearing up. We have, oh my goodness, um, my brain is like blah at this point. But we've had like two weeks of just storms that were just terrible of tornadoes and you know there was a lot going on in the Middle East on top of all that and I'm actually glad the past two storms that we've had in Oklahoma have not been tornadic I'm like yes thank you oh my gosh it's so great to actually have some storms where we don't have to worry about tornadoes <laughs> like what a relief off our shoulders it feels like we're getting a little bit of a relief, but at the same time, like, what are you doing? That is totally illegal, dude. Man, people out here being cray cray. Driving on the... I don't even want to get in that. But um, we've had the solar storms, and they're creating these beautiful aurora borealis. Of course, tonight I won't be able to see it because I have clouds, and I haven't really been able to see it the past couple nights. I don't know if it's just been too dark or what's going on, but a lot of people have got some amazing shots. And, like, oh, my gosh, it is so incredible to see those shots. It's, it's incredible to see that stuff come to pass it, it's that it's you know it's God speaking loudly is what it is God is speaking so loudly that you don't want to hit that snooze button because because God's speaking you you want you want to wake up right now you want to look at what he is speaking the earthquakes going on close to the California border border between Mexico and California um you know it's super close to that border and that's also very close to that San Andreas fault line and I just I, I'm just getting this weird feeling watch that fault line and you know God 
has confirmed many, many, many times actually through giving me more scripture and different things and I'm just sitting here going, wow, okay, okay. We are definitely seeing that everything's coming to pass. Amos 8, if you read Amos 8, the sun was already darkened. And that Amos 8 was really potent and really important during April 8th. But now Amos 8 has a, has a flip side to it. It has a second part. And the Lord just keeps confirming that second part over and over again. There, and they've, they've said it for many, 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 many years. And it's something called the Great Reset. As we know as the New World Order. The One World Government, One World Currency. They're already set up for all this. But they've got to get rid of the gospel. As soon as the rapture happens, they have to be able to get rid of the gospel. And they they keep talking that these solar storms, you know, they say it could cut all power and do all these things. And I, I'm listening to it and the Holy Spirit is like, listen, read the word listen and I'm sitting here and I'm like this is biblical and God just keeps confirming 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 and I'm just like we're going home me and my husband we actually took a nap today I went and take I went and laid down first because I just these say these solar flares are making me super tired like they I feel like they're just draining me of everything I've had and I had woken up first and you know I was busy posting an article that I got about I can't remember somebody has nukes and my husband came up to me behind me and I think he meant it as a joke but he said are we in the end times is the rapture about to happen and I was like, okay, I know he's joking. And the God, God just, just said, tell him. And so I p turned off my phone and I set it down and I looked at him. And I said, yes, if you want to know the truth, we are seeing the birth pains. We are seeing the signs of the time. Bible prophecy is leaving off the pages that is coming to pass and I was just posting another Bible prophecy. I was posting that prophecy. Oh, I have a dollar up there. I was just posting that Bible prophecy is coming. And we see the beginning of it. We see the start of Bible prophecy being fulfilled. And my husband just kind of looked at me and went, I was joking. And I'm like, but I wasn't. And I felt the Holy Spirit say, they put it on my husband. God put that on my husband to tell me that, to confirm that we are leaving. Sometimes God. God will use non-believers to confirm things. And I love it. God used my husband to confirm that we are going home. I'm just praying that my husband will wake up and realize we are in the end time. My husband thinks that I'm just following some kind of weird, godly cult. But he doesn't realize that Bible prophecy is leaping off the pages of the Bible. And that we're about to be gone in a moment, a twinkling of an eye. 
I don't know the day or hour. Everybody's aiming for the 18th. I don't know if that's going to be the day. All I know is that we're close and we need to keep our eyes focused. Game time's over. I hope you're ready to go. All right, well, I gotta get off here, get a couple of things, and I will see y'all in the next video, or I'll see you in heaven. Bye, guys.